Hello everyone, Craig here with another IntelliVibe instructional video and I'm going to talk about lateral g-force. And here you will see the TFS3 control panel running. We have R-Factor running, the sim is paused. We use R-Factor uh, as our go-to sim for these videos because it behaves really well. Uh, here you see the car master effects list which we get by just clicking on the car icon and you'll notice that all of the effects in the master effects list are turned off except for engine RPM and lateral g-force. Now you'll see here engine RPM has been set to always stay at 25 percent as long as the engine is running. So for the purposes of this demonstration whatever we do with our engine it'll have no effect and the engine RPM is going to be stable. And therefore the engine RPM is always going to be this line right here in terms of the strength of the IntelliVibe output. The only thing that's going to change on this real-time chart is when lateral G's occur, it is going to cause the left leg and right leg to deviate based upon the amount of lateral G's that are occurring. And here, these are the standard settings for lateral G's. And on this real-time chart, which we get by just, uh, you get it by checking this eyeball or putting it away by rechecking that eyeball. For now, of course, we'll leave lateral G's out because that's the subject of this video. And uh, I'm going to just hop in a vehicle and I'm going to drive a little bit. And again, engine RPM is a flat line. And here you see some lateral G's. Of course, I'll try to stay on the, on the track. And I'm just going to go left and right a little bit. And I'm going to hit pause. So here is the real-time lateral G's that we just put down when I unpaused the sim. And here are the real-time lateral G's on the real-time chart. And you'll notice uh, zone 1 happens to be the back, and you'll notice the back is steady. Uh, white is the left leg, and blue is the right leg. And you'll see how the vibration intensity flip-flops between the left and right leg as we were making those left and right turns. Whenever you see on this chart the line that paints to the left, that is you getting thrown to the left. And whenever you see this line coming to the right, that is you getting thrown to the right. So when you get thrown to the right, the car is making a left turn. And when you get thrown to the left, the car is making a right turn. And therefore, this, these forces will be rendered upon this stable engine RPM uh, signal. So I'm going to drive a little bit here, okay? And we're just going to take this turn. So when I make this left turn, you'll notice that I'm going to pause. This is a left turn, and as I was doing that, you'll see the G-forces from the sim are throwing me to the right. So this line is the real-time G's from the sim as I made that left turn throwing me to the right. And in that case, the right leg wants to get stronger. And you'll notice that the shape of this line corresponds to uh, the lateral G's that are occurring here. And I'm going to unpause, okay? Now I'm going to head to the right around this turn. I'm going to, and I'm going to pause again. And now you'll see here's me being in the right turn. We get thrown to the left. And you'll see this shape here corresponds to this shape. So this is the, uh, the uh, left leg getting uh, increased vibration because we're being thrown to the left throughout the right turn. So hopefully that'll make some sense and I'm just going to go ahead and let the computer driver take over. And what you'll notice is here he's going to make a hard right turn so up comes the left leg and this is us getting thrown to the left and I'll let him make this next turn. When he makes the left turn the g-forces come to the right and we get thrown to the right. Now another thing I'll show this green line is when you get thrown to the right this line is when you get thrown to the left. And based upon these settings here, you'll see the white and blue lines. That is the changing in the G's that are rendered onto the legs. And you can see the corresponding changes here. So this blue line right here corresponds to this blue line here. And this white line here corresponds to this white line here. So hopefully that made some sense. I'm just going to let him drive a little bit. And you'll notice, again, these are the real-time lateral Gs. We're in a left turn. And then here's a right turn. And so this is you getting thrown side to side. And this is how you getting tossed in such ways appear in IntelliVibe. 
and hopefully that all made sense and I'm going to stop this video now.